I grew up on a farm. I ended up being the sole source of, of income. I learned early on that you just work to get the job done. You pursue until you accomplish the mission. You know, growing up, we didn't have much money. Uh, money was always in short supply. I kept a tobacco can that was my bank. I put money in that bank, and if anybody asked me what that was for, I was saving it to go to college. In my life, education was the ticket to capability or the ticket to opportunity. And so I got a bachelor's degree, and then I went to night school to get a master's degree. I had to work five jobs at a time to get through to pay for this, but I got the, I got the education, and that has been the doorway to opportunity. I would certainly not be here today if it weren't for the education that I had to scrimp, I had to work extra hard, but uh, it was all for good value and good benefit. As a young person, my dad took us on a, on a little four-seater airplane flight. I think more because he wanted to be in the airplane and we were his cover. But uh, we went for a flight, probably I was six or so years old, and uh, flew out of a, the hangar, it was a barn, and a grass strip, and we flew around southwestern Pennsylvania. Since then, I've had the privilege of getting a pilot's license, so I got my instrument rating from the Lufthansa Pilot Training Facility. I had just finished serving as ambassador, so I actually had a relatively clean slate when they came to me and asked if I would be willing to do it. So they had someone who was the primary candidate. I was the backup, and, uh, and I have thought the backup's job is to make number one successful. I went about it with the uh, aspiration to help the number one be successful, and he was. One of the things I'd like to do is continue that legacy that Secretary Heather Wilson had of getting regulations out of the way. There are a lot of things where we're told how to do things that good judgment would get us to the same conclusion. If good judgment and intuition would get us to the right place, we probably don't need reams of paper to tell us how to do exactly the same thing. I also know that every airman, when they raise their hand and swear to defend the country and the Constitution, that they are making a bigger commitment than I am, and my job will be to give them the tools, give them the resources, give them the support, and get out of the way.